Hello, gents! Exclamation point. What's happening with HDR? Fewer games seem to support it natively, and if they do, the implementation is often quite subpar. Heck, heck, even the latest, biggest Hollywood movies are graded around 200 nits. For specular highlights, TVs are getting brighter, yet HDR doesn't get the love it deserves. Cheers! Exclamation point. Uh, obviously, you're, you're all in on HDR, John. Do you agree with this sentiment? I am. I share his disappointment. I will say right. that the lack of this, but the talking to more and more developers and people working in the industry, the feeling I get is that a lot of people still just don't quite fully understand it in a way that makes them want to work with it. And that we need more like, I don't know. Uh, I feel like there's, this is a huge opportunity for some big consulting firms to open up and like, we can make your HDR great or something. I don't know. Um, especially with games specifically where it's, it, there's also this struggle over like HDR as a standard and how a company sold a lot of TVs and monitors that claim to support HDR, but they're not really capable of it right. and ended up making things look worse which then ended up hurting the impressions of it. And there's just, it's, it's such a mess out there that I think that does on top of the difficulties with implementing it, it really discourages companies from really wanting to go for it. Uh, and also if you're talking the theater, you know, Hollywood movies, of course they're graded at a lower knit level because they're also still designed to be shown in traditional theaters first. Uh, and most just have projectors that can't do the kind of light output necessary to pull off HDR, uh, let alone like the, the more granular sort of display you need to make that work. So I think there's still just a lot of factors that's just discouraging companies from even bothering. And that really, really sucks because when you see HDR in a really good display, uh, the results are honestly just astounding. It looks so good. It's such a, such an upgrade over the regular screens. Yeah. Um, Thankfully, if you're in the world of PC gaming, there's a lot of options out there for you still. Reno DX, I finally have been fiddling with, and yeah, that's an awesome way to do it. But if you don't want to go down that path, you know, auto HDR is still pretty, pretty okay. Even if it raises black level a little bit, it still puts out a nice punchy image. Uh, NVIDIA RTX, the HDR stuff that they have as well, pretty good. There's solutions on PC. It's just console space and like movies where I feel like it's really starting to fall behind and we're not getting what we should. That's why I'm, I am at least happy that, you know, it seems like the first party games by and large are still putting a premium on HDR and ensuring that their games ship with good HDR. Uh, for sure, Xbox and, and Sony have been doing this. And so far, Nintendo's been doing okay with their first HDR system, with their first party game supporting it properly. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens, but I definitely have a nervousness about it. And I do, I do personally blame this, like, these selling TVs and monitors that don't really do HDR properly. Right. That stuff sucks. It really sucks. It should never have happened. I don't, I know they wanted to sell displays and whatnot and keep the budget low, but it's just, it's selling false hopes and it's ruining, tarnishing the name of HDR. Like when you buy a freaking, and you know what? Nintendo is guilty of this too. Uh, the Switch 2 screen can't do HDR. I'll, I'll just say it says it's HDR. It's not HDR. Mm -hmm. It's, it's nonsense. <clears throat> it accepts the signal. It can't support the brightness. It can't do the actual like ANSI contrast. You can't have black, dark black next to bright highlights. It doesn't work. It's a single backlight. It sucks at that. So there's too many devices like that out there that, that sold a bill of goods that it couldn't back up. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Alex. Yeah, like John, I'll just also point out to the wonderful PC community, I do think I should probably cover Reno DX at some point. I'd have to re always, as always, every single time I do an HDR video, there's a refreshing of our work of that. Like, how did I do that back then? Yeah, that's how I do it. And I think Reno DX would be a great opportunity to cover that. And I do know people who work on it, so it would be a really easy uh, kind of project in that aspect. Um, but like John, I think the, the proliferation of really not HDR monitors on top of the fact that I do think some middleware has not made it easy 
think Unreal and Unity have probably not prioritized that in comparison to other aspects of all of their development. Like there is HDR in there, but in terms of like the explanations of how it works in their documentation, as well as uh, the default options that are provided, maybe being a suboptimal mix. Another thing that I think that happens unfortunately too often is the okay now i do disagree sometimes with the community that every game needs to have a perfect black floor i think right we have films that are kind of gray and that maybe is trying mm-hmm. to convey that's something, okay right but i think there's been so many examples in games where it shouldn't necessarily be there if the user wants to turn it off and they don't allow you to change that just like you know they give you gamma options why not also this because at the end of the day if you have an oled monitor having those black areas be like gray is just really it looks really stupid <laughs> but, but usually um so i really think there should be more awareness <laughs> about the fact that not all monitors like they can't some people can't even see this because they're working on an led and they're like this is the darkest it gets the black light is there you know like you can't really do much about that unless you have an oled for grading so i feel like right. There needs to be a lot more information out there for developers to work with to make these better decisions and more options for the the players. 